Hey, Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Mongolia. Now, where we left off, we were in the process of conquering India. We're about to be done, and uh, we could probably think about splitting our army up into two groups and starting to conquer multiple people at a time. Uh, we will continue along this pathway of domination and conquest. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that farm there, although I could actually kill that farm and it'll still get adjacency from all of these farms up here when I eventually build them. Uh, so, encampment right there. Or do I want that production? You don't need ancient walls. I don't really want a library either. What could you do in a reasonable amount? Of ah, Caraval, excellent. More naval units, excellent. Go ahead and improve that. We'll put a fish down. Ah, this little warrior. I'm going to send it to my capital. He is the hero warrior that we will keep alive the entire game. That'll finish that. Go ahead and get a lighthouse. You are going to come here and build a farm. You're going to go down here and chop that. Let's actually build that farm now so that we get the adjacency bonus. You're heading over here. You're heading over here as well. And you're waiting there, although I could probably safely teleport you over to Delhi. And you are going to settle right there. Keep building farms. Yes, 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 yes. Shoot there. Shoot there. Shoot there. Attack there. Kill there. Attack the city. Okay, battering ram, get closer. Massive damage to the walls, very nice. We'll make attacking the city that much easier. And we can also start attacking down here. Although I would like to take promotions. I think it's it's just going to slow me down. Now let's bring in some fully healed guys to fight. They'll do slightly more damage the more health they have. Uh, now I want to know what's going on in this direction. Make sure I'll send you there. That's fine. Uh, let's spend a bit of time healing on some of these units where necessary. Let's send you up towards the enemy. You are this guy, you're going to go there, you're going to go there, I'm going to take the shells promotion on you, you're going to heal up, you're healing up, you're going to take the breakthrough promotion, you're going to take the reactive armor promotion, you're waiting there, you're coming this way, and there's Halong Bay, hey, very nice. May as well do some damage with my Caraval, get him a bit of experience, even though he's actually ready for a promotion. Uh, no, I will not be giving you all my stuff for five gold. Hell no. There's some pike and shot, they do a decent amount of damage, but our units are pretty tanky with the addition of the Creek General. And we can also take a promotion here that'll give him back his health. Uh, my troops are really passing by, although they are clearly not. We will be attacking you shortly. But go ahead and take Bard and we'll shoot this city and we'll go ahead and attack there. That'll conquer that city. And there is Hyderabad. We'll go ahead and build that monument right there. And... We will look for that builder. I thought I saw a builder in the water. I guess I was wrong. We'll keep that city. We'll go ahead and build a monument granary over here. We'll skip upgrading our governors. You're going to grab the reactive armor promotion. Let's go ahead and grab the reactive armor promotion on you too. Let's cross the river. Why don't you back up here? You go there. Now the city is surrounded. We'll do a bunch of damage to it with our nice ranged units. And then we will attack it right there uh, make sure the great general is in range so this unit thinks it can attack again and we'll conquer that next turn let's bring you down here shoot that city attack that should clear it out excellent there goes india so now we're going to start moving in on uh arabia and scythia since they are my next two closest enemies Let's choose our production over here. We're going to go ahead and repair the monument. We're going to go ahead and skip that. We're going to repair that as well. We are going to put a farm there because that's all I really care about. We're going to put a thingy there. That'll go ahead and build a knight for us. I'm going to go ahead and send this knight off exploring a little bit. You're going to chop. Well, ideally I would keep those forests, but it's not super ideal. Go there. Let's put the farm right there. You're going to place right there on that city. Go straight for a granary. I'm not going to care about my governors right now. It doesn't seem relevant. So 
So Shania is going to be a fun city to attack. I'll bring my battering ram. I think I need to bring at least two bombards down towards Candy. We are going to have nationalism soon. And you are ready to explore out this way. Might kill Hattusa. We'll think about that. Let's go start getting some units moved over towards uh, Arabia so that we can begin the conquest. You're going to go there and then you're going to promote. You're going to go there. I will bring Aethel. Aethel. Aethel fled. Okay, I guess these guys just can't move, right? Whatever. You wait there. You're going to go there. It's in order to meet you, Norway. Let's place a colossal head. Sure. Seems like it's a little bit better than a, a mission. It'll give me a little bit of faith and culture, which is always nice. Extra yields that I can turn into units and stuff. So there goes Calcutta. We get a big bunch of gold. It's always nice. 1600 gold. And we have just finished our workshops. Do we go for the commercial hub or do we go for the encampment in here? I think I would like the encampment because it'll let me build units quicker. Sure thing. Uh, I'm also going to want to research this military science so that I can build uh, academies or whatever they're called. Military academies. Uh, let's put our grubby little hands on an art museum and we are going to go ahead and build a market in here so we can get an extra trade route. In fact, speaking of trade routes, we kind of want to start building those at some point as well. Let's go ahead and harvest there because that'll finish that a little bit quicker and it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and put a farm there and we will put some fish on that tile. Then you're going to run up here and do that. You're going to go ahead and put a fish there. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's get some more units heading over towards our grave enemy of Scythia. So we'll bring the battering ram up this way. We'll bring a few of these knights. Uh, let's make sure we conquer the city. Sounds good. Let's place uh, Moksha in that city. Sure, why not? We'll go ahead and we will move you, but not quite yet. We're going to move you to there. Who are you allied with? You are allied with Tomiris, so I think I will kill Jerusalem. Um, just to open up the battlefield a little bit more. Let's make sure we have a great general up here to provide help. I think I might declare war in Jerusalem first. We'll keep this city. You're going to wait there. It's funny how I can liberate the city to the person who I killed. Okay, this is a problem. That's a lot of naval units. Uh, I'm going to need more stuff to take that on in terms of navy. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and repair that monument there. You're going to wait there. Well, I guess I could actually move you up one tile. And we'll bring another one of you units down here. We'll bring one of you units up here. And you're going to wait there. Okay, you're healing in there. Let's go ahead and chop there. You wait there. Chop, that'll finish that monument. Let's go ahead and get the Ordu. Can't really move much. You can go there, I suppose. And you could, in theory, move if there were not units in your way. Russia is not far away. Hopefully after we kill Scythia, Russia will be a fairly straightforward kill as well. We do have Petra in Majorai, which is always nice, providing us with a lot. Not far from nationalism when we can start combining these units together. So again, we're going to want to start pumping out units, which is always uh, which is always a good idea in my opinion. Let's go ahead and make sure that we take Helmsman. And let's go ahead and declare war on Jerusalem. She's a little upset with me for doing that, but I super don't care. Let's go ahead and get us around to put the city under siege. Let's bring you forward. You go there. And... You go there. Once we have Jerusalem, that'll open up a much easier access to our enemy, Scythia. Uh, you have built a caravel. Let's keep making caravels, shall we? Frigates would be nice. We'll do a mixture of frigates and caravels. 
what are you building? Okay, you're building these things. Let's go ahead and pre-build horsemen for uh, military science in here. We've got a lot of text to catch up through. A lot of them will take very, very short amount of time. But military science is going to be a big deal once we get to it. Uh, Caraval has been completed in here. And let's go ahead and make a mixture of caravels and frigates as well. You are building what? Okay, go ahead and repair that market. You're going to heal up there. You wait there. I don't want to attack the city just yet. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Then you are going to continue to trade with Kyoto. You're going to head over here and chop down that. You're going to be a part of my naval invasion force of Sumeria over here. I want to start taking out some of these cities. We will throw... We're just kind of throwing stuff down now. And I'll start also bringing a small military force over that direction as well. Let's head over to Kinakota or whatever it's called. Let's bring you down this way. Uh, we are just getting units in position for this invasion because we need more navy units. And in fact, I could probably... Purchase a frigate, get you out of the way, put you there, and then maybe if we declare a surprise war on Arabia, we can get some sort of uh, water control. You can't be killed, so you may as well explore for me. You go this way, can't really find anything over here. Oh well. So this is actually one of the first times I've ever attacked a city-state for the purpose of making it easier to attack a player. I almost never attack city-states, it's just something I don't do. There's a Colosseum that's always nice to get. That will be in range of quite a few cities actually. One, two, three, four, five, and six, including the base city. So let me just double check that. That's in range. One, two, three, four, five. What is he for? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah, that's all in range. That's very nice. That's a bunch of amenities that we didn't have before. So that's always a great one to pick up. It's also a decent amount of culture and loyalty and all that sort of jazz. Uh, let's go ahead and just pick up a trader. Let's go here. This is already improved. Let's rectify that. That should not be improved. Let's go ahead and chop there. That'll be another caravel. Very nice. Let's get you moving. Actually, out of curiosity, has the Venetian arsenal been built? Because if I could get that, that wouldn't be so bad. We might go ahead and do that. And you are heading down this way. You are waiting here. You're heading down this way. And you are a Renaissance and Industrial Era guy. So you're going to go hang out in Kyoto while it builds me a military. You come this way. You wait there. You wait there. Shoot that city. Bring the battering ramp forward so we do a little bit more damage to the walls. Let's make sure we cycle around. Let's make sure we also attack with as many of our Keshigs as possible to, to A, get more experience, and B, lower the strength of the city so that we take and do less and more damage. There we go. Should be Jerusalem flipped now. Ideally, I wouldn't want to do this to Jerusalem. Um, I would like to have them on my side. I think there should be an option when you conquer a city-state to uh, puppet it, which would maybe make it so that only you can get the benefits of it, but you only get the first two benefits. I think that could be a cool mechanic. If you puppet a city-state, but you only get these first two benefits and you don't get the suzerain bonus, I think that could be an interesting way to deny it to other people. Say there's a city-state right in your border causing you problems, but you don't want to conquer it, you want to fight for it. Well, maybe an option to puppet it would be cool. I think that would add some intrigue to the game. You can also probably tell I've been playing some Hearts of Iron. So I'm just going to get all these units to kind of wait for a second. And then we'll get moving in on Scythia. You're going to come up this way as well. Okay. You're exploring for me. Very good. All right, goodbye. So I bought a frigate here to assist in the naval domination. How are we doing in terms of army strength? So right now I have the biggest army in the world, which is always nice. Let's go ahead and declare a formal war on Scythia. Here we go. Okay. And 
you're going to take a moment to heal. Looks like we're actually losing loyalty in here, so let's grab Magnus, move him in there. You go there, shoot that guy. You spend a turn healing, you spend a turn healing. Let's get you moving. This might have bombard. We'll have a bit more knowledge soon. Let's bring the battering ram forward. Let's bring you up this way. Go ahead and repair that water mill. Very good. You are doing what? Let's go ahead and keep building some basic infrastructure. You're going this way. And I do want to declare war on Arabia, but just not quite yet. Not until I have enough stuff to really take this water war. Their navy is currently better than mine, and that's not ideal. All you guys can wait. You can actually explore. That's the really unique thing about admirals is because it causes certain great people can't be killed. You can just go exploring with them. Uh, and we are sending a battle force out to the east. Take a while for us to get over here, but it's not the end of the world that it will take a while. You're waiting there. You're going to harvest that. Then we are going to get started on the traders. It sounds good. Get us extra gold. Get the monument. Ah, I'm at Warwick, Sumeria. Very good. Battle force move in this way. Go to the next turn. Really? Ah, it was a Keshig. That makes sense. So I don't... I, I keep making the mistake of putting my... This is a really annoying place to have a unit, by the way. Uh, Russia. I thought I'd let you know that. Yeah, I need to make sure I don't put my Keshigs in range of their cities because they don't have much defense. So we can capture their horsemen, which is kind of cool. I want you there. You come this way. Let's bring the Great General forward slightly. You go there. You go there. Very hard to move, maneuver in this war. Uh, market has been completed here. What do we want to build next? I'm thinking we could continue to use these cities to build um, caravels and frigates. Caraval, frigate, caraval, frigate. Just keep building those. Now, in this city, we can go back to maybe producing a little bit more in terms of knights and keshigs. Let's get a good mix of those. Uh, here, we want to grab the Ordu so that we can continue to produce units. We are going to grab an encampment here pretty much immediately, but we really do need a builder first, so I'll just spend a bunch of time doing that. That's fine. You're heading out this way. You're waiting there. You're building a massive force of horsemen. Go ahead and build that mine there. You're going to go ahead and put a farm right there. And you're going to continue moving along because indeed our whole army is moving along this way towards Adab. Can't really move much faster than this. Okay, this is gonna be a hard win without um, lots of frigates. I mean, I think this army can take the Arabians. Uh, you can keep exploring for me. Very nice. Okay. You are going where? You're going to head up this way. I'll try to have boats protecting my units. You're fortified there. You're my well-protected super warrior from the beginning of the game. Yeah, that was to be expected. I expected to lose that horseman. I expected you to get hit, which is quite nice because it means I can move the battering ram in and do some extra damage. My units are merely passing by. There is nationalism, so we can start to combine some of these units together. Um, that would always be nice. So let's move the battering ram in. That'll do extra damage. Then we will combine this unit. Sorry, we're going to attack here and then combine this unit into this unit, which will give us a core. We'll shoot there, we'll shoot there. You're gonna move forward. There's Mount Sinai. Where is my great general? Let's 
Let's move him ever so slightly this way. Let's kill there, then combine there. That'll open up a tile that we can get to. We'll kill there. That'll capture that unit. Okay, didn't want to capture that anyway. You're going there. I can't give Russia open borders because they're being annoying with this warrior here. That, that warrior is actually making this a lot harder to get units through here. I could potentially position units in more advantageous positions, but that is not to be. We will go for mobilization pretty much immediately because we want to go up to uh, even bigger armies. And we are building Keshigs and stuff to come over here and reinforce. So let's go ahead and just build a line of Keshigs, Knights, Keshig, Knight, Keshig, Knight to reinforce into armies. Go ahead and build a trader. You build a granary. Go ahead and build an encampment because I want the production from you. You're going to wait there. You're going to move up. You're going to trade, repeat your trade route. You're going to fortify there as we wait for more and more horsemen. You're going to trade with Karakorum because it's worth a lot of production and food. It's also worth a decent amount of gold. We'll go ahead and put a farm right there because that's a really good tile for a farm. You're going to go ahead and move this way. You're moving out this way. We're just generally moving across the water towards Sumeria. Oh, hello. You're being annoying there. Uh, you keep exploring. Interesting position for Arabia. It looks like Arabia has settled over here rather than begun over here. So it might actually be better for me to redirect this army over to their mainland and then just sacrifice this water area. So now that I have that knowledge and vision, we will make that decision. I'm a poet, and I did not know it. And once we have proper naval superiority in this area, we'll maybe do something about Arabia. It'll take a while for us to build that up, though. We do need to get a foothold here somewhere. Uh, it might be worth my while to kill Zanzibar. That could be worthwhile to do to get a foothold over there. We'll have to think about that. Yeah, we're losing the units that we're capturing, but that's okay. As long as we're not using, losing the units that we want to keep. Let's go ahead and take a promotion on you. I don't want to take a shot from two cities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack here. And then combine for the heal and protection. We're going to shoot there and then attack there. Didn't get the capture off. We're going to attack here. We'll attack here. Okay, that all works for me. I was hoping that I would be able to get a bombard shot off here. But I was it was kind of a, a, a vain hope. Uh, you're actually not supposed to go there because you're going there and then you're going there and then you're going there and then you're attacking there Okay, so that is the watermill completed Let's get ourselves an aqueduct in here because why the hell not in this crappy city probably should have just raised that city, but whatever Just like I raised the roof Let's build the encampment and the ore do can produce units more efficiently and Let's go ahead and keep crossing the water. All you guys are moving this way. There's even a knight up here that we could move. Yeah, this is just like a city-state that Arabia took over. So it shouldn't actually be much of a consequence. So we could actually bring our navy over here and it would be far more useful. What I will do, however, is uh, I will build walls in these cities because they are exposed. And hopefully they'll get them done uh, before it is too late. Uh, you're going to just wait there. You're going to go here and fortify. You are exploring for me. Good job. Aye, you're finding a lot of information out for me. All right, you're going to move this way. You're moving this way. You're moving this way. You're moving this way. 
you're supposed to be exploring. Looks like there's a barb camp there. Go ahead and kill that. Come this way. Now we're up against musketmen, which is a bit of a problem. We might need to kill something small to get a foothold over here. We're going to definitely need some uh, some units to assist. If I had frigates, I could probably take this city. So I might have to wait until I have frigates, which is going to be a long last time. Jump up here. Hopefully you can survive. Okay, we're losing the units we expect to lose. I wasn't expecting to lose Calcutta. You're going to take the promotion. You're going to promote, and then you're going to combine with that promoted unit. You are coming back to heal. Capture that unit, you get over there. Let's start combining some of these units to make them cheaper. Like so. Recruit that great merchant. Sure thing, we'll build a bank to artist slots. And you have built your encampment, you've built all the things, now you are also going to spam bombards for me. Monument, whatever, just get all that crap, I don't care. And you're heading over this way to combine together, you're heading over this way, you're heading this way. Okay, uh, let's conjoin. I guess you could, in theory, kill this if you felt like it. Poke in, poke out. There's Krakatoa. Head there. Okay, looks like that's all the information we're going to glean from there. So I'm going to start bringing my navy over here to help fight Arabia. And I think we're going to land over here and work our way upwards. I see someone down there, I'm not sure who it is. Could be Arabia in the fog. It can be kind of hard to tell sometimes. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think it's Arabia in the fog. It's always good to know where people's cities are. You can't shoot. You're hopefully surviving. You're waiting there. You're exploring. Very good. You're going this way. It looks like this is America. And Samaria has uh, either spawned here or heavily colonized it. Looks like they spawned here. There's their capital. And, ah, Bombard. Yes. So you are going to jump in the water to also join the Grand Water Crusade on Cairo. This might be a bit of a tough one because that city's pretty tanky. We're going to have to combine a few of these units together and hope for a Blitzkrieg. I was hoping that unit would survive. I was also hoping these units would survive. This is actually really bad that I'm losing units in my own waters. Um, I might have to rectify that and do something about it. Unfortunately, I don't have a unit in the area. Okay, moving along. We will be able to use fire support from the water to attack uh, Cairo, which is always a good deal. See, commercial hub, go ahead and get that. Go ahead and build that there. Let's slot in the... I don't really plan on building any more builders, so I don't think I need this card anymore. I think I might be better off with something that gives me some kind of... Triangular trade is always good because I can make use of the faith and stuff. Um, logistics is always good. Industrial zone adjacency. 
Holy Slide Adjacency kind of makes sense in my current situation because I'm using Fate to purchase units. In fact, I should be purchasing units like pretty, not, pretty much non-stop in here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and purchase some Bombards and a bunch of Knights to combine together. There is most of my Fate spent. We shall build up a little bit more. You're falling back to heal. The downside of having cores is uh, you have sort of less healing in a way. Uh, it's hard to, I don't know how to explain that ad adequately, but basically your healing is being spread over a, a smaller number of units, so it takes longer to heal, is my point there. Um, you're waiting there. Uh, you might want to head to the... yeah, over here. Things are becoming a little bit of a struggle here. I mean, it's not a struggle, it's just, it just takes a few turns to kill down a city. Right, good exploration happening here. Wow, okay, Arabia is huge. That's going to be quite the conquest. Although, remember, I only have to kill the capitals of their city, so... If I can figure out a way to make that work... Okay, these would be major defeats. Well... So we're going to have to figure that out. Yeah, we're going to have to figure out how we deal with some of these cities. I do want a foothold on this continent, though, so that I can expand. Okay, Warrior Monk did some damage. You need to retreat over here if you can. Enemy Caravel. Let's get a full surround. They are in a reef, so they get a bonus, but I have an armada, which should help. Let's get a second frigate to assist. There goes Shanai. Let's put uh, Victor in there. Keep city. Shoot that city right there. Kill that guy. Go here. Shoot that city. Go here. I was going to combine those together. I kind of messed that up. Oh, well, I might combine these already together. Can you go in there and heal up? We'll go ahead and build a monument. What's your loyalty like? 15 turns. That's plenty of time. I will move Victor in there, though. Into Jerusalem. I could do damage to the city. I don't want to do that this turn. Fortify. Let's get as many units adjacent to the coast as possible. Take us a few turns to do the full landing. It should be fine. In fact, we actually have promotions on some of these units, which is worth keeping in mind. You're heading down south. A lot of these guys are going to be heading down south to reinforce that other army. I want to preserve as many of these promotions as I can. Wow. Big ass. Yeah, I think he owns pretty much the entirety of this world's version of Africa. That would be interesting. No, no demands. I mean, at this point, we could pretty much go for any victory type that we want, but I feel like I've kind of committed to the domination. So we're going to just kind of stick to that. Okay. That is... Rocks in my... Okay. So let's shoot there. Combine here. Kill there. You go there. Combine there for the heal. Shoot there. Surround the city. Wait there. Come here. Shoot there. Go there. Workshop completed. Did I move the wrong? No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. 
just had a brain thought, a brain fart there. Workshop completed in Nagano. The city now has a reasonable production line. I'd like to get an encampment, please. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna keep these guys close together so they give each other um, adjacency bonuses, flanking or uh, formation bonuses, I think it's called. Okay, and you wait there. Go there. Go there. You're going to take barding. There's the Barringer Crater. Who owns Zanzibar? Frederick Barbarossa, so I could probably pretty safely declare war on them. Of course, Arabia picks the most obnoxious tile that they could sit on, which is right here. The AI has a knack for that, I find, just picking the absolute worst place to sit to be annoying. And by worst, I mean most annoying. It was a fantastic oh, there's a lot of natural wonders in this game. Um, maybe Terra Mirabilis is a little too crazy. Let's get you guys to retreat a little. And we'll kind of see how that goes. I mean, in theory, you're just exploring, so it's fine. If you get killed, it doesn't actually matter. Um, you stand there because that gives you slightly better vision. You're building up a force over here in a dab. Okay, pikemen did their damage. You survived a hit. I can promote you. I can move you to here. Promote. Move the catapult or the uh, bombard up. Shoot the city. Shoot the city. Attack the city. Fortify. Take the granary, put a governor in here. I'm thinking Amani, since she's not needed. And then if we're quick, we can conquer some of these other cities. We're gonna move our great general forward. I would like to move the great general, thank you. I'm gonna move some of these guys up as well. If we can take out these two cities as well. Even though I only need Pokrovka, I need these cities for the loyalty. Uh, there's a granary done in here. Let's go ahead and grab the harbor. Sure, why not? You wait there. You're coming in to assist. Excellent. We found the enemy doodads. Shoot him twice. Get that kill. You wait there. Okay, I feel like this game I've been much better about actually like continually building an army. I think part of it is being able to faith purchase an army since I got a big chunk of faith early game. Okay, this is... A lot of shit we're gonna have to fight our way through. Okay, that worked. Surprised that worked, but it worked. And I have another frigate over here. Am I crazy? Maybe I only had one frigate. But yeah, I'm thinking of going straight for Cairo, even though it's their cap, and that'll be tough. You wait there. Hey, it's the it over. Nice. That's where England is. I'm thoroughly confused about this map's geography. Okay, you come back this way, then you need to come home and heal. You're going to come home and heal as well, I guess. May as well do a bit of exploration. You never know what you find over here. Looks like we found a natural wonder. Can you heal up there for me, please? Let me ask you. There's another natural wonder. Very good. I think it's a lot of fun to have a lot of natural wonders on the map. Combine these units. 
and that's going to be it for this turn and this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I'm picking up the pace with the how I'm playing the game. I'm going to be speeding up my gameplay quite a bit. Now that we're past the early game, I think uh, it's more about just rapid execution. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the decisions that we make from here on out aren't super complicated or super impactful. It's really just about keeping the momentum going and keeping the ball rolling. For example, like just stepping back a tile and shooting, that's a very, there's not really much thought required to execute that. Um, we will kill there, you'll go there. Okay, that's fine, you're gonna heal there. We will kill this guy, bring you forward, go there. Can I do major damage to the walls? Major damage to the walls, come here, shoot. Uh, so you know you know what I mean, like it's, it's all very, um, not mechanical, I guess it's more like mechanics rather than mechanical. The decisions are not super important. It's just about executing them correctly in a certain order and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to see another video from uh, if you want to support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.